Thank you very much and good evening. Assalamu uh, alaikum and good evening to everyone. Um, our program director, um, uh, Comrade uh, Ambassador Mohammed Dengo. I don't know what to call you, comrade, ambassador, honorable member, everything. Uh, we also have another program director who has been quiet here, uh, Elvis Presley, who is also the spokesperson uh, of uh, Don Matera Legacy Foundation. Pratons, beloved uh, partner, Miss Melody uh, uh, Matera here, children of Pratons Matera, uh, grandchildren, great grandchildren uh, of Praton Matera, siblings of Praton Matera. Uh, we have them here. Uh, Imam Ikram, uh, Don Matera Legacy Foundation, community of Sophia Town, Westbury, Nuclear, Protea North, Lenesia, and El Dorado Park. Uh, my brother, uh, Laibon Mabas, uh, thanks for honoring uh, Praton. Um, Africa, OP, Sanka. Uh, you don't have to worry. Whoever knew Praton would know uh, who Praton was. Um, so many people know here. You think they don't know? They do. Uh, friends, ladies and gentlemen, today we bid farewell to Donato Francisco Munapula Matera, also known as Praton but in other circles is also known as Brazinga. Perhaps the best word one can use to explain Praton is humanist. After all, his is the larger than life legacy of a giant in the realm of literature as a poet, as a wordsmith, journalist, public speaker, and anti-apartheid activist. And it is particularly in his storytelling that many a time he would sweep many an imagination. Praton has been quite exemplary in his determined, deliberate and consistent effort to pass his, found, his fountain of knowledge to generations and generations to come. One of the generation was here reading a poem. It was one of the generation uh, an, an example. Take for an example a weekly mail cadet program where many of today's leading journalists were privileged to absorb from his human treasure. I'm just shy of mentioning names, uh, well known names here. In fact, a number of South African newsrooms can tell a story or two about how the hands of Platon has put a shine, shine onto mindsets. Who's found, who's, who's found their way through their office floors. It was, in fact, uh, the decision by the Department of Sport, Arts and Culture uh, which resolved to recognize Platon as a South African living human treasure. Quite correctly, Platon is counted among South Africans who are extraordinarily gifted in the realm of social and cultural tr traditions. These are our human treasures. South Africa's living human treasures are specialists, practitioners who are held in high esteem by the society in areas of arts, culture, heritage, social philosophies, and indigenous knowledge. These exceptional South Africans possess, to a very high degree, the knowledge and skills that truly embody the living spirit of our country's human heritage. They perform a vital role in creating, advancing, and preserving this heritage. In so doing, they are the bearers of tradition, transmitting indigenous knowledge to future generations. And in this regard, Brazinga, we have sought to document his magnificent contribution through a, pub a publication enabled by the Department of Sport, Arts, and Culture named Don Matera powerful expressions and you are all invited to secure a copy that you must not just read 
but in the spirit of Prazinga, must also pass on. Praton was also a pioneer of the Living Legends legacy. When we started this uh, outfit, we called it Living, Le uh, Living Legends Legacy Project. And we changed the name uh, to be Living Legends Legacy Fraternity. And that's how it's known uh, today. And this is uh, the, the, the outfit which has uh, gone throughout the country um, in the program of master classes where they imparted knowledge to many a young generation in this country. And uh, the outfit is still around and is working. It's going to take this legacy forward. Um, its chairperson currently is Dr. John Kani, uh, who is leading uh, the outfit. But uh, to the family, we say to you, be strong. We are with you. Uh, we've been with you. We are with you now. We'll be with you all the way. Thank you so much.